OpenAI launch apps inside the chat GPT, they're basically going to come here and try to take over the app store by having their own native app integration, is what people are saying. So let's check out, is it legit or not? It just came out like yesterday. Now I have one ongoing, we'll, we'll go and check out uh, some of the examples in a minute, but I have one ongoing, I just wanted to show you that you do have to log in, but I'll just show you how this one's working and then we'll go and show exactly what you can do with these new apps. So I just tested it out saying create a slide deck in Canva. Um, and then it popped up a little bit saying, do you want to use Canva? And as you can see here, that it's actually popped up this application, which you can't see from here. Oh, you can now. It's come up. There you go. Um, and then it started trying to do it. Oh, there we go. It looks like Canva, blah, blah, blah. Isn't enabled. Boo. Well, anyway, what am I trying to do? So, the dev day this idea of using apps directly inside it, which sounds cool originally when you look at it, but my initial feelings about all of this are that A, I mean, first of all, I hate this, want a different vibe, say the word. Oh, I don't know, like Silicon Valley. I hate these names. Anyway, um, but basically, you ask them to do something like that. One of the problems, this is a good example, is amazing. But instead of that, I would just rather if I could just control all my bros. Maybe it's just performing like the AI bros. But anyway, there's another example where they'd create and sleep in. They could do it. I think that this is a bit of a not great idea, mainly just because I have to tell it what to do. Boom, it uses Spotify, etc. Um, it's just about friction. And considering they keep talking about how this is all about user experience, OpenAI says it plans to prioritize the user experience above all else, which obviously they don't because, you know, I use it all the time and it's a nightmare. But anyway, so some of the little examples that we'll actually look at. Here's one here. So booking.com, find my hotel in Paris, and it goes and searches it. So things like that. But then I always wonder, you know, are you going to actually be stuck just seeing what they want you to see, not seeing the actual thing? Um, I know I'm going a bit off topic, but um, other ones, learn with Coursera and ChatGPT. Let's just send me to Coursera and have a little sidebar where I can just chat to the video. That'd be much better. Um, I don't want OpenAI to be the platform I go to. I want it to integrate onto what I already know. I don't want a reimagined user interface, really. I just want... AI embedded in the user interface that I already use. Anyway, people are worried a little bit about, um, we'll get into the comments, but obviously this kind of thing happening where ChatGPT just is the interface for everything. Um, a collab with Tinder would actually be pretty funny. Um, this is what I just continually think, well, this AI finishing touches, we need more compute to cure cancer, right? Right? No. Um, but anyway, let's go and actually try and use it. So here's another one. I just said, make me a playlist in Spotify for bands similar to Fontaine's DC, who I've listened to recently. And they have these examples here. I don't know why they do idols. Idols are nothing like them. Still decent. But anyway, you can see this pops up. Use Spotify for this answer. So if you click that, suddenly the app appears. And now we can see it here. As you can see, the Canva one has gone. Um, but let's see, is it working away? It's not going to tell me what it's doing. But we'll probably try and get me to log in. Let's see, connecting to the app using what MCP, and then is it going to create a list? And then is it going to make me log in? I guess we'll wait and see. Um, but yeah, I think it's a cool idea. See where they're going with it. But then it becomes this whole idea. Yeah, there we go. Of basically, do you want to have ChatGPT decide? Uh, which apps you use, like you're looking for a house, do you want it to be able to change up some of the pricing or use specific websites or whatever, which I suppose is why it gives you that option, but it's going to only integrate with ones which they integrate with anyway. Um, as you can see how slow this stuff is, because it's like, you know, oh, we're so fast. I don't even have that one for the... There we go. Boom. Use my biometric data. Don't buy it on the black web if you've dark web. 
don't know why I always say black web. Don't buy it on the dark web if you see it. Ba -ba -ba -da. <laughs> oh, just so that I can get a Spotify playlist. I wonder how many bottles of water my chat GPT's drunk since uh, getting here. Take actions and view your activity on Spotify. Take my data. Take it. Something went wrong setting up the connection. Well, here we go. Boom. So we can now see this on connectors. Interesting. Side note, actually, people on here are complaining that you can't get it in the US. That's a funny one too. Just need 200 trillion more dollars. And all your fresh water and electricity, please. Thank you. Um, but yeah, all uh, logged in users outside of the EU. Now, I'm in the UK, which is outside of the EU. But I wonder if they really mean the European Economic Area or whatever it's called because I couldn't actually get these connectors until I done this. Here, I'll show you. Until I done this. So I'm actually in America. Plot twist. Um, and then they actually showed up. So anyway, interesting how that still works. But here are the different apps we can... Add in Booking.com, Coursera, Expedia, Zillow, Spotify, and Figma. Um, and then just the normal connectors here too. But if we go up to the browsing of the apps, I want to see Coursera. So you can just connect like this, right? So in the apps and connectors, it's just to connect. It's not actually to do the thing. Oh, there we go. That was rapid. I wonder if it used my, uh, my uh, Gmail thing. Anyway, so we'll do something like this, right? Teach me ML on Coursera. So here the, the scary thing is it has this uh, ability now. To, oh, is it going to go straight to the app because it's connected? Yes. To call. You can't really see it, but I think it's doing some MCP work to contact Coursera to pull the data over here. Um, let's see. It's really slow, but I suppose I'm... Uh, 405. What's a 405 error? What's a 405 error? I'm a cloud engineer, I should know this. <sighs> nah, nah. Because why should I know it when ChatGPT will know? What's 405? I hate how it gives me all this information. 405 means method not allowed. In plain English, your browser. So that's every every example hasn't worked. Let's <laughs> let's try another one, man. Um, what was the other connectors? Zillow. Search for some properties. We're doing what? San Francisco. In San Francisco. Cisco. Please. I wonder if it goes straight to Zillow. No. But it pops up here. Use Zillow for the answer. Let's see if it goes. Oh, 3 million. Oh my god. Two bed gaff. Almost a million dollars. That is crazy. So let's see if this works. We'll continue. Why didn't it connect to Zillow? So it'd be more it'd be better if it just automatically detected your account and tried to use that and then you can change it if you want. Um but yeah. Let me see if this will actually work. Because obviously all the other ones aren't working. And this here, I wonder if this is just like a browser use agent where it's kind of taking the picture. The image, let me see. Here we go. So this is the, the gaffs here. And now we can ask Zillow. So let's say less than 1 million. Please. And then in the demo, obviously, they just went bing, 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 and disappeared other than the 1 million ones. Let's see here all this. You don't need to tell me. You just need to do it. They're still here, mate. Let me close that down. Go back to it. Here are the homes. It hasn't done anything. No worky. Um, see, this is why you need to demo stuff yourself. If you honestly, if I listen to anyone online, it's not connected to my account. It is connected to my account. I wonder if this goes straight to the photos. But if you um should do, because you can filter normally via URL like this here. Yeah, up to one million. But if you try out all these things yourself, you notice that they never actually work as they're supposed to. So anyway, those are the connector things. What do you think? Is this the future of technological interface? Is AI taking all of the startups? Or is it 
actually just like a little kind of spoofy thing. Because I think this plus Sora has just gone to show that it, opening eye aren't trying to make AGI. They're just trying to... I don't know, what would, what would the word be? They're just trying to... Not cash cow, but... They're moving into the kind of low-hanging fruit-ish areas of development over and above the AI. Because I think with the AI, is sure, maybe they have the best AI engineers, but they have the best development team behind it that's moving this in that direction. I don't know. Tell me what you think in the comments below. Um, follow me for more AI updates. I'll see you in the next video. Take care. Bye.